The first part asks us to find the equation of the line which has a gradient of minus 2 and which passes through the coordinate 3, 1. Now, for part A, any line has got the form y minus y1 equals mx minus x1, where m is the gradient, so in this case m would equal minus 2, and x1 and y1 are any given coordinate. So in this case, the coordinate x1, y1 would equal 3, 1. So the trick is to put these numbers into the general equation of the line. So y minus y1 would equal m, which is minus 2, lots of x minus x1. This can now be expanded and rearranged to make it look simpler. So I'll expand the bracket first. y minus 1 will equal minus 2x plus 6. Two negatives go to a positive when times together. If I now add 1 to the other side, y will be equal minus 2x plus 7. So that is the equation of the line in the form y equals ax plus b. Now part b then asks where this line intersects with the axes. Now the y-axis is where x equals 0. So when x equals 0, y will equal minus 2 times 0, which is 0, plus 7. So y will equal 7. So the line hits the y-axis when y equals 7. The x-axis is where y equals 0. So 0 will equal minus 2x plus 7. If I rearrange this, if I add the 2x to the left, 2x will equal 7. So x will equal 7 divided by 2, which is 3. So these are the axes intercepts. So basically, if you imagine a pair of axes, the line will pass through 7 on the y-axis and 3.5 on the x-axis. And that therefore is a sketch of our line.